Join us on this episode of the Must Do Travel Show, where we check out the Santa Ynez wine region of California. The state of California is known worldwide for its wines, which seem to be made in almost any part of the state you go to. While places like Napa and Sonoma may get most of their fame and attention, there are many other towns where great wines are grown. Perhaps some of you have already heard of a little town called Santa Ynez, but maybe some of you haven't. This laid back town is situated just up the highway from Santa Barbara where the climate seems so different. As we pulled into town through the morning fog, we arrived at Presqu'ile Winery, and our friend Nick took us on a grand tour to show us how the wines are made. We got a bit of a history and science lesson all at once as we learned about what made the Santa Ynez Valley, where Santa Ynez is located, such a special place for winemaking. We even got to sit down and sample some of his favorites as he explained the different nuances of what made each particular blend different and how the soils and weathers affected those flavors. Afterwards, we arrived just down the street in the tiny town of Solvang, which is an enclave of Danish influence where nearly all of the town's buildings looked like they'd been plucked right off the streets of Copenhagen. Solvang draws a lot of tourists from around the world, though prior to this trip we had hardly ever heard of this place before. It definitely had a lot of charm, especially the Landsby where we stayed, and we even had to oblige ourselves to try one of the Danishes from the Danish bakery across the street, as we figured that they must be pretty authentic here. For the afternoon, we saddled up at the Fess Parker Winery in Fox and Canyon, and we rode horseback through the family's pastures and vineyards with Katie Parker. This land was home to most of the meat, wine, and vegetables that we would be having later that night for dinner. It was really interesting to hear the story of the farm-to-table culture that has really caught on, not only here in Santa Ynez, but across much of California, too. 714 acres of this estate are dedicated to sustainable farming practices and they are well known for raising their Wagyu cattle here that produce a superior beef. Later that night, we had dinner at the Bear and Star restaurant where Chef John Cox took us on a quick tour of his chef's room as well as a private dining area hidden behind a wall of wine. The menu featured many dishes showcasing the Wagyu beef from down the street, as well as many other culinary delights. One of the most prized specialties here are the dry-aged cowboy cut ribeyes. We enjoyed everything that we tried, from the halibut sashimi to the Wagyu tartare, and especially our steak for dinner. If you're looking for a little trip to get away and enjoy somewhere that has a slower pace than your average big city, you should check out Santa Ynez and its surrounding towns. California has always got another fun trip up its sleeve, so be sure to follow the Must Do Travel Show for many more adventures to come.